the story behind a major change for Chuck E. Cheese. This guy, Rich Jamiro, explains in today's text mark. Good morning, Rich. Hey, I mean, who didn't grow up going to at least a birthday party mm -hmm. at Chuck E. Or Cheese? Or taking their kids there. Of course, it's been a part of our uh, world here. Chuck E. Cheese surprised the nation when it said it would get rid of its animatronics in exchange for more high-tech entertainment. Recently, I visited the Northridge location, which will be the only place in the U.S. where you'll still be able to catch the original show. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese Northridge. How's everybody doing? Chuck E. Cheese making a big change to their game plan. More than 45 years, more than a billion people have come through the doors of Chuck E. Cheese. Animatronics are on their way out. In their place, interactive dance floors and giant video walls. We've been phasing out the animatronics over the last couple of years because every generation has had their own Chuck E. Cheese. There are more than 400 U.S. locations. 75% are remodeled with new games, new pizza and cake, and new entertainment. We took a pause here. But thanks to a petition started by teen fan Logan Carrero, this Northridge, California location will be the only place in the U.S. where the animatronic band will keep playing. They're just so fascinating, the way they move around and talk to each other and dance, it's just, it's crazy. This will be the only location in the entire United States where you can see the old and the new all in one place. We wanted to keep one legacy location open and have our band have a residence where you can come anytime you want. Every day the band will be playing. And you're going to guarantee you're not getting rid of this anytime soon. This one is here to stay. Chuck E. Cheese founder Nolan Bushnell on hand for the dedication. I actually am glad that it's going to be in a restaurant, not in some museum. You know, because I think that it's good to be able to come here and experience what we started in 1976. Having it in a restaurant is the appropriate way to give homage to our legacy. These fans and even my kids, now a part of Chuck E. Cheese history. Why is this your favorite character? A lot of people like, uh, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, but Jasper is my favorite character because, uh, I don't know if he knows, but sometimes, you know, his eyes do like the little uh, cross eye thing and stuff like that. I just think it's kind of cozy. Cool. It's kind of like unique, you know? This is going to become a destination for all of our super fans and those that just want to reach back to the legacy of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> In addition to new games, the video screen and interactive dance floor, Chuck E. Cheese says it will begin adding trampolines to its locations as well. Oh, Megan's in. <laughs> <laughs> Rich on tech, uh, that, that's where you can find me on Instagram if you want to see the story about uh, the last Chuck E. Cheese with the show. Thanks to Parker, by the way, did for great. Uh, getting in there and doing the uh, the last interview for yeah. me. Yeah, that's I was, awesome, I was man. stuffed with pizza. So of I was like, take the, room, take the mic. He did well. Here's your yeah, shot, yeah. kid. Don't blow it. <laughs> no, I mean, he, uh, you could tell the, commo uh, the composure, the demeanor. Mm -hmm. He's going to be telling you what to do before too long. He already is in some yeah, ways. Exactly. I mean, he's a kid, anyway. you know. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, thank you, Rich. Happy Friday, everyone.